Amino transferases are a class of enzymes that are used in reactions where we, which we want to transfer an amino group from one molecule to another molecule. So the first thing to consider is where do we see this often occurring? We can go over this one example where the most common example that we see is where we have alpha ketoglutarate being converted into glutamate. Now, how does this reaction happen? This happens, let's, let's compare the two molecules. So we have one, two, three, four, five carbons and alpha ketoglutarate. And we have one, two, three, four, five carbons on glutamate. Now, if we compare their chemical structure, we've got a carboxylate at this end, carboxylate at this end, two CH2 groups, two CH2 groups, a carboxyl, a carboxyl. So they differ over here at this alpha carbon. At the alpha carbon in glutamate, we have a carbonyl. But at the glutamate, we have a carbon with a nitrogen group bound and a hydrogen. So essentially, when we go from alpha ketoglutarate to glutamate, we're going to be adding an amino group to this carbon over here. And we're going to be getting rid of this oxygen. How do we do that? Where is that amino group coming from? Well, it often comes from an L-amino acid. Remember when we talk about amino acids, they're most commonly found in the L form in our body. So remember the amino group, we have that alpha carbon, carboxylic group, hydrogen, ammonia group, and it has some sort of an R group depending on which amino acid it is. So this amino, acid, this amino group on the amino acid is going to be transferred onto the glutamate, uh, onto the alpha ketoglutarate, and it's going to yield glutamate. So if this L-amino acid loses that nitrogen, it's going to form this double bound uh, bond to oxygen, and it's going to form an alpha keto acid. So if you think about this, essentially, we're kind of doing the reverse of each reaction. Here, we're going from amino group to double bound oxygen. Here, we're going from double bound oxygen to amino group. So that's one way we can remember that. So this reaction where you're transferring an amino group uh, it's called an amino transferase enzyme. So remember, it's a class of enzyme that transfers amino groups. And it always has this cofactor um, called PLP. Now, PLP is actually bound to the amino transferase. And essentially what it does is that when this reaction is occurring, it stabilizes that uh, unstable carboanion intermediate uh, when we're going through this process of transferring an amino group to the glutamate. Essentially, when we remove this nitrogen, this carbon, it's going to have one less bond, so it's going to carry a negative charge. And the PLP is able to stabilize that negative charge through resonance stabilization. So what's the importance of these amino transferases? Well, these amino transferases, this is just one example of where it's being used. This is the most more common example. And this process specifically, forming, forming glutamate, often uh, it occurs only in the liver. But we also see amino transferases, for example, in the muscle cells. In the muscles, we see the conversion of pyruvate into alanine. And, and when we do that, essentially, we take the amino acid on glutamate, we add it onto pyruvate, and then we get alanine. So the amino transferase reactions, they're helpful in creating these molecules that have ammonia in them, because when we form this glutamate from this alpha ketoglutarate, this glutamate will then it can it go on to take part in the urea cycle, because remember, in the urea cycle, we're donating ammonias. So where else do we see the benefit of amino transferases? Well, forming this glutamate can actually be helpful in forming glutamine. And glutamine, uh, glutamate, what it does is that it picks up excess nitrogen in the body and it adds that nitrogen right over here and it forms glutamine. So then we don't have toxic ammonia floating around in the body. And the glutamine can also act as a temporary storage unit for the ammonia. And then whenever it's needed, the glutamine will simply donate that ammonia and it'll return to that glutamate form. So this simple reaction of just transferring an amino group has a vital purpose in the body because glutamate or whatever you're trying to produce, for example, alanine or any other amino acid, um, it has a very vital function in the body. So what's important to note is that amino transferases transfer an amino group, um, often from an L-amino acid, 
and it uses that PLP cofactor, which is able to stabilize the carboanion intermediate um, in this reaction.